Hi, this is our reaction uh, recording dashboard. Uh, for the date which we want to see the data, we can choose the date by selecting the calendar. Suppose we need to see the data of 2nd November 2023, then just we need to select the 2nd November. Now, for the 2nd November, here is the total production quantity, total reaction quantity, reaction TPM, and percent reaction. In the downwards, it is showing the detailed report for each machine. And this report is downloadable in the Excel or Google Sheet format as well. You just need to click here and export. It will get export into CSV or Google Sheets. Just like this, here we can see the downloaded report in the Excel as well. Now, if you want to see the only shift data, then select A shift. The whole table will change into shift A data. Similarly, if you want to see according to the machines, you can select the machine. You can select the part number and you can select the part name as well. Here is the second page of report on which we are seeing the details in the form of graphs. Here is the shift A percent rejection. Shift B percent rejection and overall rejection. As we go downwards, we have multiple graphs like machine-wise rejection percentage, shift A, shift B, and this is also in the descending order because we need to attack on the on the top rejection machine. Here we can easily drag down the highest rejection percentage is on machine number 11 in the shape shift A. Similarly, in the shift V is the machine number 11. Here is part wise rejection. This part has 11.43 percentage of rejection. As we go downwards, we can also see the rejection defect wise. These are different defects like setting piece, power cut rejection, color variation, black spot, flash, crack. As we go to the specific bar, and then it will show us the defect. The highest defect is black spot with 85 numbers. So we can track down, so we can easily take the action on the defect. Now there are some graphs related to the quantity. These are in percentage, these are in quantity. On the basis of number of pieces, we have to select the date. As we can see, now here is the rejected quantity. Shift A 326 pieces, Shift B 142, overall 468 pieces. And these are the quantity according to machines, shift A, shift B, part wise rejection quantity and defect wise rejection quantity. Now, if we want to see the monthly graphs, suppose we want to see the data from 1st of October to 31st October, then just we need to select the date. Now, the whole data will change into monthly data. In month of October, we have produced total these parts. This was the rejection quantity and the overall PPM level for the month of October was 537. Now, it is the graph of daily rejection percentage. These are rejection PPM day wise. This is defect wise and day wise rejection quantity. So, we can also take the action accordingly. Suppose if we click on this graph, which is the highest graph, then the whole data will change according to this. As you can see, the rejection is now showing for October 21st only and the defect wise detail is also showing for October 21st only. As we go on the selected bar graph, then it will showing us that on October 21st, there are 234 pieces of black spots and 60 pieces of static piece rejection. We can track down just by going to October 21st in the daily report. As we go into daily report, as we click on the black spot, uh, here is the black spot, the whole data automatically will get sorted in descending order or ascending order. Now we can directly see that this was the part on which 25, on which 75 pieces of black spot in the lower bowl feed and dusty cover. Here we can take the action on this part by seeing the whole dashboard. So by this dashboard, we can analyze the whole rejection data 
if we need to add some rejection cost or copq we can also add that in this dashboard as well 